Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my January 2019 book haul. So we'll start with this one, which I've just sort of seen what it was. I actually opened this because I wasn't sure whether it was even a book, and it is. And it is uh, How Not to Die by Michael Greger, MD, uh, with Gene Stone as well. And basically, he's a plant-based nutrition advocate, so he, uh, big in the vegan world. And it's just about, basically, well, the uh, subtitle is Discover the Food Scientifically Proven to Prevent and Reverse Disease. So it's about eating, you know, a whole grain, whole food, plant-based diet and whatnot. And then here we have another book, and I think I know what this is as well, because of... Amazon sending me an email being like, we delivered your book. Oh, this is two books. So this is uh, the the Space Adventures. This is the Space Adventures of Kirk Sandblaster, Space Adventurer by Ollie Jacobs, and Kirk Sandblaster plays the game of Loria by Ollie Jacobs. So last month for Tarden Danes indie read along, I read uh, three. Ollie Jacobs books in this series, and these are the final two, the ones I haven't read. So I'm looking forward to getting to them. Hello, uh, I'm here with Biggie. This is this is his fluffy bum here. It is ten to six in the morning, and I haven't been to bed yet. Uh, I've been working all night, but I wanted a break to open some books that have been sitting here waiting for me to open them. So that's what I'm going to do now. You have to be quiet, Biggie, even though we have I have no upstairs neighbour, so be read. Oh. Okay, so this is two books, All right? So here I have Frank Herbert, June Messiah. So I'm going to be reading this for January, uh, which is like a reprise because last January we did. By then, oh my God, you almost fell! It's gone to the sink for some reason. So last January I did January with a bunch of people, and uh, some of us are getting back the old gang back together to read June Messiah, which is the second book in the June series. So I'm reading this with. What are you doing? I'm reading this with Mindy. Hang on, let me show you. Look, he's up there. The f so anyway, I'm reading this with Mindy's book journey, Graham Quigley, uh, Luke Ash from Totally Pretentious, and I think somebody else. He's sitting on the oven. Really weird. Okay, and then I have Come Tell Me How You Live by Agatha Christie Mallowan. So this is, uh, yeah, this is about yeah, this is about when she went to Syria and Iraq with her husband, Max Mallowan, who was an uh, archaeologist. Uh, Non-fiction. Got some photos here. And I just thought this would be an interesting little read. Well, also, I'm trying to work through every Agatha Christie book as well, so there's that. Actually, I, I find it really sort of aesthetically pleasing that these two sort of super old school books both came in the same package. Okay, here, oh, okay, finally. Here we have Radical Candor, How to Get What You Want by Saying What You Mean by Kim Scott. So I've actually already read this. Um, it's actually one of the few books, the only other book like this that I can think of is um, Mrs. Dalloway, where I listened to the audiobook before reading the book. And the reason I did that for this is because I had to write a review and like a Sparknote summary for a client. And I bought it online, and the thing that arrived was a bloody audiobook. So, so I listened to the audiobook and, and reviewed it, and uh, now I have the physical copy as well. Although I'm looking at this now, and I'm pretty sure that was an abridged audiobook, but we're going to call it read because I'm not going to reread it. In fact, oh yeah, shit! Now I need to write a review for it because I don't think I ever wrote a review. And uh, finally. Agatha Christie, Appointment with Death, a classic Hercule Poirot mystery. So again, like I say, I'm trying to work my way through all of Agatha Christie's books, and my mum got me an Amazon voucher for Christmas. So this is what I spent it on. Okay, so yes, sorry it's a bit quiet. It's now 5.51am, and I should probably go to bed soon. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon. Hello, it's me again, and I have a little book. It feels like a little hardback. I have a little gander, a little goosey gander. Oh, I know what this is actually. Yeah, this is uh, the Everyman's Pocket Library edition of Beat Poets. Not in focus, but what the hey. Lawrence Fullingetti. Oh, that's Ginsberg there. Whee. Someone's done some underlining in it, but I, I can't be mad at them for that. Very exciting. Hello, I have a book, and I think I know what it is. 
So I'm just gonna we're just gonna do this vloggy style. So oh look at that, it's nice because <laughs> it's used as well, and I quite like that. So I bought the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath because I've never read it and I really need to read it. So um, so yeah, I thought I'd pick it up, and I'm quite excited. This looks beautiful actually. These little illustrations and like sort of faded pages. Very nice, very nice. Hello, I have a cold, so sorry about that. Luckily you can't catch the germs from there. Um, I went on a holiday with my mum and it was very nice. And then I brought home a few books that I want to show you. So I picked up Good Food, Eat Well by the BBC, Vegetarian and Vegan Dishes. So it's just a vegetarian and vegan cookbook. Obviously some of the vegetarian ones I'm going to um, veganize, you know, but uh, it, there looks like some pretty cool recipes in there. So I'm very excited. Could do with some soup at the moment really, couldn't I? Then I got Tinder Nightmares, presented by Unspirational. So this is just like stories of really bad things that happen to people on Tinder. Then I picked up The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. I've just heard that it's pretty good. Basically, I've heard it talked about on BookTube a few years ago, and I saw it in a charity shop, so I was like, I'm going to get this. And then I picked up Blaze and Sell by Stephen King. I already own them both, but these are the Hodder editions, and um, they look really pretty when you get them all together. And I already have some Hodders, so I think I'm going to start officially trying to collect all of the, the books in the Hodder formats. So anyway, that is it for this month's haul. Uh, it's now just before the end of January, but I want to get this edited and shared with you guys. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have some more books coming soon in February, I hope. And uh, wrap-up coming soon as well. I'm ready to film my wrap-up, so yay. All right, I'll see you soon. Oh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.